UK makeup versus US makeup. I seriously can't believe we're about to do this, but we are. Like I told y'all, the UK girls eat when it comes to their makeup. So let's see how it really compares to US makeup, AKA how I usually do my makeup. UK makeup will be on this side, US makeup on this side. Primer. Y'all said y'all wanted a side-by-side -side comparison, so I'm taking it literal. Is this crooked? Let's start out with brows, because literally the way y'all do brows in the UK is foreign to me. Fill in brows. Here's the difference for the UK. Y'all put concealer all right here and up here, and it's almost like you're painting your face when you're outlining the brow. Then you drag it all the way down. I literally do not do this at all. Now what I do is just take my concealer and outline my brow with a pan concealer. Then you set with powder. I don't be doing this. <laughs> I don't set anything. Illuminating skin tint on this side, a regular skin tint, blend that on in. And I actually do like this step for the UK makeup. And honestly, I will be going in with either the skin tint like I'm doing right now, or just go straight in with my foundation. Most definitely use the wrong shade, much better. And I don't be dragging foundation down to my neck, but I'ma do it because y'all told me a lot of times in my last videos that I need to. For the UK makeup, it's now time to go in with a actual foundation on the back of my hand. Yes, I learned this tip from y'all. And you use a beauty blender, dab it on in, apply it sparingly to the face. Just get like a sheer coverage, which I actually also like. And this is the biggest difference in my opinion. Concealer, and then you guys go outward and upwards. Whereas for me, concealer, also drag it all right here. Now let's do the contour areas. Contour, 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 contour. But the difference is I've noticed in the UK, this contour here, whereas I contour all the way down. Also, okay y'all, one other other thing that I've noticed with the UK makeup is a little button nose. So I'm gonna try to do that with this, but it's kind of hard. We just gonna have to try to make it work. <laughs> Use a brush to blend out. Use a sponge to blend out. Blend out concealer with brush. Padding in motions and not dragging motions. See, I'll be watching y'all. You cannot be from the UK if you ain't lifting the eye. You gotta lift the eye, okay? Now see, I just blend mine out with my beauty blender. I don't know why I drew that part right there because I don't be lifting like that. This next step is what really sets it apart. Brighter under eye. And that is only on the UK side. While that sits, let's move on to blush. I noticed in the UK, it's more so in between the concealer and the contour. Only right here. Whereas I apply blush all right here. You see the difference. Blend upwards and keep it in this one area. And I just bring it everywhere. <laughs> And one thing I want to say is I've adopted a lot of the UK techniques into my makeup. And I'm not really, I don't want to say this just UK techniques because I don't want people to be like, oh, I've been doing this and I'm not from the UK. Okay, we get it, Susan, okay? What I'm saying is this is the kind of stuff that I've learned from watching people in the UK and trying to see like how they make their makeup look so unique to them. Because when you see a UK girl, she doesn't have to open her mouth. You know she lives in London. Now we're gonna set the under eye, use, oh shoot, I didn't blend this in yet. <laughs> Using the beauty blender, blend out under eye concealer. And of course you have to let it sit, baby. I learned to let that concealer sit. Blend it up to once again accentuate the eye lift. You see that. Here's a comparison so far. Now we're gonna set using a brush with powder. Set using a beauty blender. I'm gonna just go in and set the rest of the face with a brush and a beauty blender respectively. I know you like that word, huh? The next step is to apply setting spray. And let me just quickly say, I literally have never done a two-step setting spray process until I saw UK makeup setting spray. And me off, watch my wrist go. And me off. That stolen Chanel lock me up in jail. Set my contour, bronzer on both sides, micro smooth powder, and then to really amp it up with the UK makeup, an even brighter setting powder. And yes, she's cracked. Oh! For eyes, we're gonna do a brown color on both sides, but lift on the UK side. Set the blush. I'm not even gonna hold you. Girl, I honestly did not even use to set my blush till like this year. Let's do eyeliner. A wing, of course, on this side. To what class? To lift, regular eyeliner. Highlighter, highlighter, drag onto the cheek area. Mascara, apply lash, apply lash. Lashes are applied. And of course, I gotta apply the moles for the UK girlies. Moles. Only thing we really have left now is lips. In the UK, it's most definitely a more exaggerated overlining of the lip. Did I put the line on my lips as well? I did it. And it's really a peachy nude that I see a lot of the UK girlies wear. Lipstick. Now in the US, we do the same thing, but you best believe we adding a gloss on top. And finally, we gonna set the face. Oh shoot, my hair, no. 
Now, which side are you picking? UK makeup? Shut it down. Or are you going with the US baby? Period. May I fancy you for a cup of tea? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which side do y'all like the best. Do you see a difference? What's y'all's thoughts and opinions?